controversy. There's some disagreement on whether the march is on or off. I just heard from the police who told us that uh, the um, permit. permit was pulled. For the march, but not the rally. The rally. For the march, but not the rally. There's still a rally over at the park, and we can still walk there on the sidewalk. So we are we are citizens of a free country. So let's oh. see. Uh, but if we that, could, that fact alone is debatable. <laughs> <laughs> but we're ready to march. We're we're actually on live now. I got a connection, and we're ready to march here. Are uh, you ready to march? Right. We're ready to march here. So we're waiting on the final word. Did we get a, the final word and what Not the yet, deal sir. is? We're waiting on it, huh? Yes. It's a small group. You should let us march, I think. We'll, we'll sign waivers. You can see a police. Now, it was, I, I, I drove in from town early in the morning just to make sure we got here. Um, and boy, I'll tell you, it was uh, thunder and lightning, but we got here. Because this is important. Now, I just mentioned in passing that Monsanto purchased Climate Corporation for $900 million earlier this year. And, you know, I'm not saying it's connected, but boy, I'll tell you. Climate Corporation. You guys ready to march? Ready to march. We're ready to march here. Gary Hooser, are you ready to march? <laughs> ready He's ready to march from Kauai. He um, introduced and helped pass Bill 2491 on Kauai that would require disclosure of pesticides used by GMO corporations and the disclosure also of the kind of GMO that they're growing. Uh, and it required over, there was overwhelming public support for it. Uh, people camped out to be a testified hearing and the actual final uh, decision was at 3.30 a.m. that a lot of people on Oahu watched by live stream. Uh, the, a lot of the roads were closed. Uh, there's been uh, emergency uh, rain warnings and some people are just uh, not going to let little stuff like that stop them. We still got people coming by. The uh, 7-Eleven here is actually closed because the power is out. Um, I'm getting uh, AT&T uh, cellular for this live stream. And I'm walking around with an umbrella. The uh, The AT&T cell, I believe, is powered by uh, emergency batteries uh, because they know that cell data is required for emergencies and that kind of stuff, which is good for me because I'm getting good bandwidth. So we're in front of the actual official meeting point, which is the 7-Eleven in Haleiwa. So if you're around, hey, come down. It's We're ready to walk down there. We're ready to march to the park, and if not, we'll, we'll get to the park, and there's still gonna be a rally at the park. We've had uh, people fly in from the other islands. Now, it was... Uh, Sunny and beautiful uh, yesterday. <laughs> I'm walking. I'm gonna walk back away so you can get an idea of where we are. It was a gorgeous day yesterday. I I did mention that Monsanto uh, purchased Climate Corporation earlier in the year. I'd be taking stills with my other hand, except I 
Today I got an umbrella I'm, I'm dealing with. So this is only the really hardcore that are here because um, there have been uh, emergency alerts sent to everybody's cell phone in the area which is a good feature. The first time I ran into that and it went off like a buzzer as I uh, drove into town this morning. So everyone here uh, ignored the rain including this uh, garbage bag. <laughs> Very good, you must be... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> He's passing out. He's passing now tell me, what are you doing here and what's the plan? Have you heard anything? And I think we're going to go, whether we're in the middle of the road or whether we're on the On the sidewalk, sidewalk and just walk there, yeah? yeah? Well, we do need more signs. It would be nice to like have a sign right there. It would be good to have a sign. We need a white can. Now, Karen made some signs, but yeah. forgot them, but just as well, because they it would have been destroyed immediately in this in this weather. Oh, there's uh, Bart Dane. A lot of people here. Hey, okay. We are all here. We are all ready. <laughs> Trying to deal with the uh, and while we're waiting to get word and whether we can actually march or not. You ready to march? We're going. Tell tell me what tell me what's the deal here and why you're here. Okay. So there's going to be a rally at the park in in any case, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, we're going to march down there. Yep. I'm okay. It's, we're on. We're on for the march, guys. A little bit of water doesn't stop us. A little bit of water won't stop us. I'm, I'm, kind of old, the other side I'm sorry, I gotta like deal. Oops, sorry, dealing with stuff here. I wanted to to get my but notes you guys still out. Gonna go. We're still gonna go. We're ready to go. Are you Naomi? No. That's a few. Not on the road. I'm Jenny. Penny high. Somebody else here. That guy's got a that that guy has somebody holding an umbrella for you. That must be a pro there. This is we're only a I'm only a humble live streamer. <laughs> okay, there are more people coming. The word we get is we're marching. We're going. So like there are people coming. Now uh, there have been some, I'm going to back off into the rain here, I'm going to have to push a button here, sorry I'm, we've got a big crew here of like one person, that's me. Uh, there are more people at the park, there's just a few really hardy kind of, some would say crazy people right here in front of the 7-Eleven which is closed because of the lack of power. Because of the power outage, but we're still here and we're still ready, we're still going to march. Once we start, I'm going to try and get a little head head run and head uh, head start and 
get down uh, down the street to where uh, we started uh, earlier this year which is March 2nd I believe March 2nd or March 4th it's either the day before or the day after uh, girls day <laughs> that's how I remember it we were right here we had about 400 500 people marching if the weather had been good uh, today we'd get double that they're all there are already a bunch of people uh, down in the uh, Haleva Park, maybe a mile or so away. There have been flash flood warnings, uh, emergency um, emergency warnings to get people uh, to stay home, but there are more people coming. This is starting point in case uh, you're wondering, come on down. We're at the 7-Eleven uh, at the beginning of uh, Haleiwa. And uh, we're not even, which isn't open because uh, there's been a power outage. There's a lot of, there was some thunder and lightning uh, as we drove up from town. There's one that went off right in front of us, in fact, but, you know, this is serious, this is serious stuff. Now, we were talking about, um, Bill 2491 on Kauai that recently passed. The uh, after the consul passed it, the mayor vetoed it. After the mayor vetoed it, the consul overrode the veto. That uh, bill requires uh, disclosure of GMO and pesticide use, buffer zones. You can't spray near schools and residences. Darlene Rodriguez. Hawaii People's uh, Fund. More and more people showing up. The uh, GMO corporations didn't want to disclose uh, the pesticides they use. I mean, that should be a law. They didn't want to be limited about spraying it near schools and residences. I mean, uh, that's the kind of power that uh, these corporations have had until now. And uh, let me try and get a word with uh, Gary Hooser. Another uh, Ordinance passed by a county recently after 2491 on the Big Island, the island of Hawaii, Hawaii County. Bill uh, 113, 113. And that uh, keeps GMOs off the island. They're the only island, the only county uh, without GMO, except for um, GMO papaya. And so it allows... Uh, them to continue but no GMO on the big island GMO free island I think there should be a sticker for their produce from the GMO free island of Hawaii people a lot of farmers were worried uh, are worried about the uh, cost and uh, impacts the monetary impacts but I think it's gonna help the farmers there Councilmember Hooser, you're live on the internet. I know you'll 
talk about it uh, later. Uh, I told the audience that we have about uh, Bill 2491, really excellent. Now, what do you think about the efforts that will probably happen in the state legislature to limit the uh, authority of, uh, of counties to make that kind of legislation? I think, it's, I think it's a given. I think it's a given that the chemical companies will be at the legislature in force trying to take away the uh, community's right to protect itself. Uh, they, they tried it last year with Bill, 7, uh, Bill 727, and they're going to try again this year. But I think uh, legislators, uh, I don't believe, are going to offer the support. The people of, of our state, Hawaii, Maui, Hawaii County, and here, have all spoken up loud and clear. So and you they, don't you don't think that that will actually go through? Even I, I'm assuming like the governor is going to get behind that and everything. I think it will be a fight all the way till the end. Yeah. But the reality of it, it's an election year. Right. And whether these legislators want to put their careers on the line right. uh, for five chemical companies, I doubt it very seriously. Great. I, I, I'm, up, I, I'm encouraged to hear your optimism. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a fight all the way to the end. Yeah. Great. So we got to keep we'll, And we'll be there help, helping that too, yeah. or else pushing it along. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. We can make an announcement. Okay, because of the rain and because of the flooding situation, the march that's starting at the 7-Eleven in Holly Eva is going to start at 1 o'clock. And also because of the rain, the Corp Council in town, which is a governing body for the police force, advised the police to pull our permit. And, uh, the Corp so we Council? Won't, the Corporation Council in Honolulu. Okay. They're the legal wing right. of the city. And they advised the police to pull our permit so because it was too dangerous. What we're going to do is we are allowed to march alongside the highway. We will not be in the road, but we'll be marching beside the highway through Haleiwa to Haleiwa Beach Park. We still have the permit for the beach park in Haleiwa. Great. So if you're planning on coming, come. Still meet us at 7-Eleven. We'll be walking alongside the highway. Great. Come, Great. come. And come and, come and walk with us. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, here's here's what we do when we don't have waterproof signs. We make we paint them on. That's good. No GMO. Hey. Guy has a has a better camera than me, but he's not live streaming. You know what? I gotta tell people we need more. We need more live streaming. I'm gonna try and get a word with uh, Dr. Hector Valenzuela. Okay, we're live on the internet now. Tell us why you're here and what the deal is. Why you're marching in the rain? Solidarity with the people. <laughs> We're worried about GMOs and pesticides. Boy, I'll tell Taking you. Care of the land. Yeah. Rain or shine, we're marching. <laughs> rain or shine. Let's see, what's that say on your on your hat? It says Kamehameha School Civic Monsanto. Yeah. What's what's that about? I guess the lease is coming up for Monsanto. And the community is saying we don't want you shouldn't be leasing land to uh, Monsanto. How Kamehameha. much how much land uh, does uh, Kamehameha lease? Uh, it's only about a thousand acres or so. Thousand acres. It's more symbolic, um, but it's the the message that we should be taking care of the land for future generations. Right. Uh, it's not a short-term profit. Uh, so Kamehameha with like 360,000 acres, they wouldn't take much of a hit if they said no to GMO, right? Yeah, they are a very large corporation and they can add the concern about contamination of the land with pesticides. Uh, how much is it going to take to re rehabilitate the land to bring it back to production? Great. They have some other concerns. Thanks, and we'll follow you to the uh, park where there's a rally. Will you be speaking at the rally? Probably not, just listening from there. <laughs> okay. There'll be music uh, at the rally, Havane Rios and uh, Paul Isaac. There are more people showing up. The gathering is growing. The gathering's growing. Walter Ritz David Brune. Walter, Walter's over there. He's got a, a blue... Uh, Walter's right there. Walter Ritty! Walter Ritty just showed up. Walter Ritty of Molokai, he's a hunter, he's not gonna let rain uh, stop people. And there's a Hano Hano uh, Nehu from Molokai, Molokai crew here.
I'm getting decent bandwidth. I, I like that. Here's Walter Reedy from Molokai. Hano Hano Nahu. Hey, try Google uh, Hemovai Brothers. Hemovai. And uh, they, they got a new uh, video on, uh, on YouTube about GMO. About 18 minutes long. You don't understand understand pigeon you're gonna you're gonna have a hard time but <laughs> Okay, we're in front of the starting point which is uh which is uh the uh seven eleven in uh Haleiwa, as you enter historic Haleiwa, you know the um, the uh, store itself is closed because the weather has uh, just been terrible and it's taken the power out. But as you can see, there are people here. We're ready to march. The uh, march has been, uh, they originally tried to pull the uh, permit and I believe the Corp Council pulled the actual permit for the march for closing that one lane. So people are saying, you know what, okay, you can, you can pull the uh, permit for the march in, as an event, but the people here are still have to get to the park and we're going to walk on the sidewalk. <laughs> we are um, we are citizens. We can do that. <laughs> I might have to cut away for a little while. I have an auxiliary battery plugged in but you know what is that when I live stream I use more power then, then can be input and I see the lights have just gone on in the 7-eleven which means we got about four minutes to hot coffee <laughs> Malama your mama that's a great sign the first uh, large banner sign I've seen Malama um, is Hawaiian for uh, take care of very often, or care for, very often uh, heard uh, in the phrase like Malama uh, Aina, take care for the land, protect the land, defend the land. Yeah, a lot of people showing up here. As I was saying, the um, I might have to cut away because I'm actually consuming more power than I can put in through auxiliary power. No. This is pretty good. A few minutes ago I thought uh, no one would show up and we've got a lot of people here, even in the rain, even with... Uh, Warnings. Occupy Hilo Media is mirroring us. Mahalo to Occupy Hilo Media. We got uh, people showing up. And as I was saying, and as I continue to try to say, um, I might have to cut away for a little while and then. Uh, start streaming again during the march which is now scheduled to be pushed back a little bit so uh, because I consume more electricity than I can plug in even with, uh,
It'll be at least a uh, half an hour, but as you can see, there are people here. There are people coming over and uh, I'm gonna pan so high. <laughs> See the uh, demographics of the group. We have young people, we have old people, we got townies like me, we got country people, we got people from other islands, we got a bunch here from Molokai, got a bunch here from Kauai. Kauai just passed out one of the groundbreaking ordinances against GMOs and pesticides. So did the island of Hawaii. Um, Maui introduced one. I don't think it has gone up for a vote yet. I'm gonna get that woman side. Hey, here we go. You're live on the internet. That's great. Aloha from Hawaii. All right. Postcard to Kamehameha School. Get him out. Dear Kamehameha Schools, everyone makes mistakes. You can fix yours this year. Do not Good. renew Monsanto's lease in 2014. Exactly. The whole world is watching. Certainly watching right now. You're live on the internet. And this is uh, from babesagainstbiotech.org. Shy young girl you are, you know. <laughs> Those kind of people never make us. Hi, hi, I'm good. Good seeing you. Now we in the house. Kind of fun to find out who's who. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, just right there. Can I get a picture of that? Got it. Oh, the other side, the other side. Oh, that apparently is a really waterproof sign. She waterproofed it. Okay, this is this is fun. Here's the guy with a camera in an underwater. I'm hi, Monica. Monica. You know Monica. Who I am, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm to interview you. I just oh, want to yeah. say hi. Hi, hi. You're. Don't you live out here? Uh, yeah, I live at the bottom of Cook Hill. All right. No, nice you're, you're bumping into you. You're live on the internet. You don't want to interview? I did. Uh, yeah, you, yeah, do me, do me. Okay. Yeah, I oh, did we the got that. Pole stuff. Yeah, that is that is really cool. That's the bumper sticker to evict Monsanto. Yeah. <laughs> All the surfers from Surfer Pole uh, had this. I saw like that. that. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. Here are the moms. The moms hooey. It's the mom who Hey, hey, there we go. You're live on the internet. This is great. This is why people tune in. We have shirts and masks, but they're covered. It's wet. And that is a waterproof sign. Definitely. Thank you, guys. Oh, girl. No, thank you, guys. Wake up, wise up, rise up. Yes, indeed. I'm gonna try and get you to. Yeah. I'm trying to get close up to the signs so when we march you can see, know who's carrying what here. Yeah, there are people here. Yes, indeed, there are a lot of people here. This is great. Kind of so crowded, it's getting a little hard to move around. I'm gonna. I'm gonna here's some signs. Hey, hi, let's see your sign. You're live on the internet. Humanity Unite, what a concept. Yeah. All right, <laughs> good. <laughs> That's good. Monsanto the Destroyer, and I see you've waterproofed it with the plastic. That's great, thank you. That's Gail. There's a guy with his camera. He's ready for the rain. Check that. Where are you going? This is great. This is great. I'm gonna back up so we can get a lot of people with this sign. Keep the country, country. Because there's a power. 
Yep. Okay, I'm gonna back up. We have enough of a group so we can like walk through this and see. Here's another sign. There we go. All right, you guys live on the internet. The whole world is watching. <laughs> All right, there we go. What do you? This is what we got to tell Monsanto. All right. Always in the house. All right. Oh, we know. This is great. This is great. I'm gonna back up here so we get an idea. I'm gonna walk through the staging area. Hey, David. So we can see uh, what's up here. And you know what? The rain is lightening up. It's gonna be a good march. It's gonna be a good march. There's Walter Reedy. Check this. <laughs> this where you're live on the internet. We got we got everybody in Hawaii. I'm so here. happy that you have this live on the internet. Thank, Thank you. So you. Much. Thank you. How's it, Ra? You're you're live on the internet. The whole world is watching now. Anything you gotta say? This is good. This is good. You're ready. Right. Thank you. Thank you for the blessing. Wearing the Hawaiian flag. People are serious about this. You can see there people from people from all over, all kinds of people, young, old, Hawaiian, Japanese, holy, everybody's here. You know? Check out some of the uh, the uh, the signs, you know, on the I got one I got one sign on my car, it says label GMO. Actually they should be off the Hey, there you go. There's no me. You've you've been up since uh, forever. Yes. You're yes. live on the internet. Oh. Aloha. Hi. Hi. My bullhorn will not stop playing jingle bells. <laughs> it's bizarre. I like the turquoise. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We're taking blue back. <laughs> hey, you're live on the internet. You want you after you get off the, on the phone, grab me and you can say uh, talk Thanks, to the uh, people. Aloha. That's uh, Nomi Carmona. Um, or the founder, one of the founders of Babes Against Biotech. Now, who are Babes Against Biotech? I know a lot of people. Uh, if you're not in Hawaii, kind of, or wondering, who the, what the, evict the ass. <laughs> and, uh, They've done a lot of organizing. Oh, and here's the uh, mainstream press. You can tell they have big cameras, tripods, and people who are inappropriately dressed. And you're not going to see that until it's six and six o'clock news. You know what I'm saying? You're you're watching this live. Hey, you're live on the internet. <laughs> Okay, we got we got a lot of people now. Oh man, I was worried, you know, it was raining like crazy and like there was nobody. But you know what? Got plenty of guys now. The march uh, originally scheduled for 12, I think the... Hey! Hi, Hi May, you're live on the internet. Live, what is, okay. What does your sign say? Okay, so let's bust it out. Bust out the sign. BAB of Babes Against Biotech, official sign. Hey GMO, stop trying to get into my jeans. Very good. 
Very good, very good. Thank you. And you, you got, you have another sign there. That's yeah, great. So I just have to give a shout out to Jerry Di Pietro. If you're watching, love you. Jerry Di Pietro <laughs> of Kauai, yeah. From Kauai, right. Kauai Seed. We love you. We love you, Jerry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> got anti gmo dogs. We're gonna set those on the GMO lobbyists if they show up. You know, actually, and I know a lot of, uh, speaking of GMO lobbyists, there, for these uh, live um, videos, I know they're, they're watching too. They want to see what's going on. There's a lot going on. These people all want you off the island. I'm going to back up so I can get a little bit of background on this surface. Let me get back here a little bit. There's still time if you are nearby, you can join us. We're at the uh, 7 Eleven, and right before. Uh, right before. Town proper. Justin Barca over with the bullhorn at the uh, far end there. Thank you. 
Back up and get kind of a boom view here. Dustin Barco is on the boat board. Oh, the cops, uh, the police pulled the permits and the, the safety reasons for the road. So we're going to give it like 10 more minutes to try and uh, get that going again. Or else, no matter what, we're going to park but we're going to make them as safe for everybody as possible. Yeah? So uh, if everybody doesn't mind hanging out for 10 more minutes. Right. Okay, we'll be marching in about 10 minutes, that's what he's saying. The police pulled the uh, permit to to march for the, for the block lane, but we're apparently uh, negotiating that. <laughs> I'm going to try and uh, I'm going to stay with it and I'm going to, hey, hey, there you go. I'm not me. You're, oh, you, I'm sorry, I don't know who that man is. <laughs> Never met him before in my life, but he's got a couple of big signs and they're rolled up. Could that be because uh, they may be a little controversial? Possibly, possibly. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, Barbara. I think so. I'm gonna take a walk around here so uh, you get an idea of where we are. I'm holding uh, a bunch of stuff. This is the. Uh, did you see that levitation shot? Okay, I'm one guy here, but you know what? We do pretty good. We ain't afraid. Nobody's afraid of the rain. The dogs aren't afraid of the rain. We aren't afraid of the rain. We're marching. see the sign on the surfboard. Surfers against Monsanto, no GMO, right, thank you very much. How are the waves today? So, so, not so good. <laughs> we are in uh, Haleiwa on the north shore of Oahu, which is uh, famous for its surf, North Shore. North Shore gets the winter I want to see that sign. You're uh, live on the internet, the whole world. We won't stop until you're gone. <laughs> That's right. Thank you very much. And there's a sign on it. No GMO. That's, that's pretty unambiguous. 
And you look like no uh, offense, but you look like you've been eating too many uh, like. I know, man. Slow poison, slow death. <laughs> right. Don't know anymore. <laughs> Thanks for being down here. I see a lot of. Hey, how's it? Good. Anything to say to the entire world? Uh, the entire world. Yeah, that are watching. Save our surf. There's a history of activism here in Hawaii. That's right. <laughs> Protecting the environment and indigenous rights and, and people's indigenous. rights are all connected. They're so, all connected. That's why you see so many people here. Yeah, man. So it's nice to be in solidarity here in the rain. Something of a metaphor, isn't it? <laughs> it really is. Have Thank a good you. day. Thank you. Okay. We're going to start marching in a little while. I'm trying to figure out actually my the best... Uh, configuration to have I might I want to get a little bit down the street whoops sorry your there we go in order to get the crowd as they uh, whoops. as they uh, come past <laughs> uh, you're, you're hey Aubrey you are international you're live on the internet I like the turquoise hat Courtney. Oh, neat. And what is it? What it says, don't, you, don't be a GM ho. <laughs> don't be a GM ho. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Hey, you can grab me anytime if you have anything to say to the entire world because you're live on the internet okay. right now. That was Aubrey Marie, Babes Against Biotech. I got a lot of people here. I'm going to try and get over to the other side and then I'll walk. Uh, Either down the street or uh, you get an idea of there's a bullhorn. Hey. Oh, that's a gorgeous looking dog. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get a get the under roof so I can actually um okay now the thing with uh, live streaming is like one long take take I got uh I just noticed one of my rubber bands has come off I'm gonna have to put this down a bit, sorry. I have to attach things. There we go. Make, uh, do some arrangements here. Something with live stream, you are live. Okay. And you can see my, uh, this is my satellite antenna <laughs> my umbrella man we, if you just joined us we are in Haleiwa on the north shore of Oahu in Hawaii there has been uh, emergency uh, flood warnings thunder and lightning and it hasn't stopped people from showing up. That's it. You see these evict Monsanto signs. Let me explain a little bit about what that's about. That is uh, one of the big landowners in Hawaii. Actually, the biggest uh, landowner is uh, Bishop Estate, actually now known as Kamehameha Schools. They have the land that was uh, willed by uh, Bernice Pauahi Bishop and control about 360,000 acres of land in Hawaii, including about a thousand acre lease to uh, Monsanto. 
and part of this march against GMOs generally, but also to get uh, Monsanto, I'm sorry, get Kamehameha schools to not renew the lease. Yeah, yeah, Matsuoka. Yeah. Hi. Hey, hi. <laughs> nice meeting you guys. Hello. And you're on. You're on live. We got a lot of uh, viewers uh, in Hawaii, mainland, and in the world to GMO free zone. Yeah, it's from the Big Island. So from the Big Island. All right. Actually becoming one of these. Actually That's right. The bill one one three one thirteen. Yeah. Right, right. That's great. And you both work. You both have the signs on. That's great. Thanks so much for coming down here, man. I thought you know with this weather. I'm amazed. The yeah. Boy, that's great. That's amazing. Thanks so much. <laughs> so part of this is to try to get... Uh, to convince uh, Me schools not to uh, renew the leases. Come up for renewal in... Um, in... Uh, that sign. That's a pretty good sign. Very unambiguous. How's it? Hey, how's it going? Good. Good seeing you. Yeah, you're live. You. You're live on the internet. Anything Perfect. you want to say to people? I sure do. We're here no matter what, because it means that much to us. We're here to let uh, Kamehameha Schools know that uh, we cannot renew their lease for another ten years because. It, it's detrimental to the air that we breathe, the water we swim in, or drink, or play in. We just can't, we can't continue this madness. So no matter rain, sun, sh or shine, Monsanto's got to go. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. And thanks for the sign. There's a, there's a sad bee there too. I remember that sign. That's historic. Right. That was at the its last trip, though. Huh? That that was at the original uh, June 28th of last year, Monsanto. My first, my first, uh, my, first uh, March, my first gathering with you people. I seen, I seen it at all on Facebook, but that was the first time I showed was, up. Wow! And that's what you got to do. You got to show up. You got to show up. No matter. That's it. You got to go. Bob, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Where are you live streaming? So what channel? Well, actually, if you go live stream, uh, it's under my name, H. Doug Matsuoka. You can do at H. Doug on Twitter. You can go H. Doug Matsuoka. Yeah, I want to put it on right now. Okay. Hey, Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> I got a list of the. Uh, I got a list of the. Um, Howdy, brother. June 28 was the first one. Yeah. All they think about is money, numbers. No, we know how business works. It's all about numbers. I get a boom shot, but. It's our responsibility to stand up when things aren't right. It's our responsibility to stand up for the kids and the future. Everybody's caught up worried about now. We just start thinking about the future. Our kids, their kids, our big one kids. So we all so fortunate to live here and live how we live. But everything's coming to us. Coming to us. We have to stand up and try to think about the future. The whole world is at a pain in the world. I'm going to see if I can get a better. Uh a better vantage point here. It's really crowded now. It's great seeing all these people. 
walk and drive through the rain. Are we ready to do it? Excuse me. I'm gonna try and walk through here. Maybe I can get away from this, from this side. said we lost the permit so we can't block a road off but we can walk on the uh, sidewalk. I'm going to try and get down the road a little bit so I can people can see uh, people passing. I think that cameraman's got the same uh, idea so I'm going to walk down a ways. The first march uh, in Haleiwa. I should go while we're walking down the street. Um, let me give you some of the uh, the history of these demonstrations. The first protest against Monsanto. The first organized march against them probably was the one on June 28th in front of Monsanto, in front of the uh, in front of their uh, Kunia headquarters and that was organized by the late James W. Macy who I miss, who a lot of people miss and uh, Babes Against Biotech, uh, Nomia Carmona, and that group. Are you working on a documentary too? I'm just live streaming. Are you really? Yeah, so That's you're awesome. live on the internet. We got a lot of viewers in Hawaii and uh, on the mainland. Awesome. And uh, even elsewhere, That's like perfect. Europe. Yeah. So I'm well, trying I would to get. Love to share some uh, footage with you. Uh, I've been working on a documentary since uh, September of 2011. You know, anybody can use my my stuff. Uh, I'm H Doug at Twitter, and that'll feed you back to H Doug. Oh, yep, H D O U G on Twitter, and that'll okay. have the links for everything. Anybody I'm can use uh, anything. M G M G Husky H U S K E Y M G Husky at gmail.com. So anybody who has footage or wants footage that I've gotten since then of uh, the Occupy. Uh, movement as well as what's going on. Oh, here cool. Life. Yeah. Okay. Hey, let's get in touch with each other. I'm going to try and get down here so okay. I can yeah, the catch people. Is a good, good place to be. I know last time I <laughs> shot, I was down here somewhere. So people are coming down. I want to catch people as they, uh, here they come. as they come by. So. Yeah. You know, they. Uh, it's foolish that they pulled the permit. How many permits you have on there? It's hard to tell because I got a lot of mirrors. There's more coming on right now too, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm walking down the street. We'll catch people. Uh, I want to catch people as they come down the hill. I want to get in front of the spot that I was on March 2nd. And there was a first march through uh, Haleiwa, and then uh, you get to see a little bit too. This is kind of a little sleepy town. The uh, police pulled uh, the permit. The police pulled the permit so they're not going to block one lane off, and instead will make 
people walk dangerously down the sidewalk, which is idiotic. Okay, if you watch the opening of the March 30th, uh, March uh, 2nd, um, Haleiwa March, this is where it began, near this bridge. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us. We are, we have people uh, watching from uh, Olympia, Washington, Kauai, Maui. New Jersey, all over. Love you guys. You were saying Aole GMO. Aole means is a negation. No GMO. from Kauai. We got Mom Sui. Is that? <laughs> we got a lot of people here. So we can get everybody. You know what? These marches also tend to grow as it progresses. People will be joining in. This is this is uh, during a flash flood warning. Uh, a lot of people who wanted to come couldn't come where they were blocked. A lot of people here. Santa Cruz. We got people from Santa Cruz. Yes, from Hey, here we go. The mom's hui. All right. That's it. Now we have at least one member that's in both Babes Against Biotech and the mom hui. Yeah. 
This is awesome. This is hey, Midori. We'll talk to you later. Midori. Also, of uh, the Occupy Honeymoon. We served 30 days. Hey, how's it? Oh, oh. Maui in the house. <laughs> You're live on the internet. Yee. Live on the internet. <laughs> there we go. Hello. <laughs> okay, that's about the end of it. You know what I'm going to try and do is walk through the... Uh, walk through the um, march. Get on the other side so we can see. You know, this is idiotic. The police wouldn't block the uh, lane, so uh, we are. So there. Here's the bridge. You know, the uh, pesticides and herbicides used for uh, GMO cultivation. Guess where that goes? It goes into the water, goes into the stream, goes into the ocean, goes onto the reef. <sighs> you know, the problem with marches that are led by surfers and babes against biotech is that the marches I'm familiar with from the old days were rather stately affairs, and these tend to be like sprints, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Kind of a little hard on old guys, which reminds me. We need more live streamers. In spite of rain, in spite of a pooled permit, we got hundreds of people. We got people joining the march as it, as it passes. We're marching through uh, the stark old uh, Paliiva. Hey, Jack. Hi there, Doug. <laughs> You know, all the way up there to the top of that hill. These are the people that risk the uh, flash flood warnings and the warnings that to stay home, who uh, defied the pulled permit, and I'm marching anyway. Looks like the police have been forced to accommodate. Hey, baby. On the right. <laughs> No, are you a are you a babe or a mom or are you both? I'm a mom. <laughs> yeah. This is the babe right here. <laughs> There's the babe. Hi, you're you're uh, you're live on the internet. Hi. <laughs> Shy. Thank you. I don't see why you can't be both in babes against biotech and the mom who. You know what I'm saying? Now uh, you'll uh, recall marching through this field, past this field uh, in uh, March, in the March March. 
Most of the population is on this island. Of the 1.3 million people, maybe eight, nine hundred thousand on Oahu. But there's still land for cultivation. I'm trying to march through here to get to the park so we can get people. boom shot a little bit hard I know there are messages in the chatter section I can't get to at the moment in fact we're now taking over both lanes <laughs> they don't help us block one lane off you know what, we'll take over both lanes. This uh, march organized by a number of entities, OI GMO Justice, Babes Against Biotech, uh, the Mom Hui, propagated a lot on uh, social media, Facebook, Twitter. Instagram. These guys <laughs> walk too fast. We need more live streamers. We need young live streamers, you know what I mean? There should be a dozen live streams going on right now. I'm getting great bandwidth. You need help setting up a live streaming system or you got a club or something that wants to start live streaming I'll give a presentation to anyone for free anytime anywhere this is citizen self-defense I'm with a group called Hawaii Gorilla Video Hui passing uh, one of the major uh, areas, shopping areas in Haleiwa. This is where uh, Cholos is, which is the uh, kind of my uh, Traditional after Hale Eva March beer spot. <laughs> See, they should walk a little slower than I could catch up to the front. Let me go over the uh, chronology. As I was saying, there was the first demonstration against Monsanto in front of their Kunia gate on June uh, 28th of last year in the middle of the day at Kunia the late James W. Macy organized it I thought he was nuts holding a demo in Kunia in the middle of the day in the hot sun that's the weirdest uh, thing I ever heard but you know, if it was gonna happen, I was gonna check it out. Check this brother out. Brother's giving a 
supplying people with water, that's just, that's great, man. That's a lot of aloha. June 28th was the first one, huge success. Walter Reedy came out for that too. 15 days later, again in Cunia, Syngenta. Syngenta is a Swiss multinational. In Switzerland, you can't cultivate GMO, it's against the law. So you know what they do? They cultivate it here. We're about as far away as you can get from their home. So they come to our home and cultivate GMO. They don't tell us what kind of pesticides they use. Although, they're now being forced by an ordinance recently passed in Kauai that would require them to do that. Here's a sign I didn't catch before. Aleva. Deserves. Clean air, clean water, clean land. Hey, Vince, how's it going? That was Vince Dodge, activist from West Side, why not? After Syngenta in August, August 20th. There's a protest right in front of Pioneer Hybrid, DuPont's GMO branch, who has fields right behind Wailua High School. Okay, this isn't a march, this is a sprint. <laughs> Yeah, that old guy in that frame. That was me. Famous uh, Matsumoto's, Shave Ice. We were going at a more reasonable speed. I make a stop. 
police have decided to help us in being run over. We're uh, almost at the historic bridge. Catching up to the front, will we make, will we make the uh, park, we're going to make the park with the front runners, and then we'll catch everybody, what do you think about that? and picturesque Kaleva Bridge. You know, people are running to get various good shots, but I'll tell you something. You're with me. You're live. There's only one live right now. Historic Haleva Bridge. We'll catch the people coming through it. Thank you very 
very much. I'm gonna mount this back on our boom here. That was quick, isn't it? Still got more people. Here's the thing, see, I think people ought to go slower. Hey, Sherry! Hell no to GMO! Very good, thank you, Sherry. Skull and crossbones, that's what's for dinner. You know, I don't see any of the pro-GMO guys with signs that's saying, we love GMO, we love pesticide, which is where the GMO companies actually make their money. They're not seed companies. Pesticide, herbicide, second wave of people here, including the mom hui. energy what here Independence for Hawaii. You know, Hawaii was overthrown by foreign agricultural influence, sugar planters that were making money, you know. And they could make more money if uh, Hawaii were annexed. This is like the second overthrow with GMOs and stuff. We're not going to let that happen. First overthrow, January 17th. 1893. Bye, bye. <laughs> More mom. Hey, there are like multiple chapters of the mom who I yeah, saw another the bunch whole of. Promise. <laughs> so Jesse Mitchell. The Riddy. Hey, world. It's Doug. We're hey. doing our part. You do your part. All right, do That's your part. Thank you, Walter Riddy. The man for the houseless. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. Hey, Farmer Ted. <laughs> guy's an actual farmer. Organic, of course. This is this is endless. There's still more people coming up. Hey, you're live on the internet. Right <laughs> Hey. Live on the internet. Just stand in front of me. There's another one of these signs. One of these signs is at the beginning. One at the end. Stop killing the land. That's it. Right around the corner, that's the uh, park.
boom shot. I'm gonna retract some stuff so it's not extremely steady. How's it looking, my duck muster? Looks pretty good. It's looking awesome. Here we go. Now we're gonna get to the get to the park. <laughs> nice uh, Haliba Town kind of uh, business or shop here. As you can see, instead of taking over a uh, one lane. Taking over both lanes. That's what happens when you pull the permit. There are no rules you have to follow. There's a permit, there's rules. If there's no permit, there's no rules. <laughs> we got both lanes. We got both lanes. <laughs> We are going to uh... Sorry about the bumpiness, but that's like I'm walking along. You've been with me now for I've been shooting for about an hour and a half. Right around the corner here is the uh, beach park. That is Haliva. The actual break. Oops. Hector. An hour ago was lightning and thunder and rain. <laughs> Everybody say Woo! <laughs> And at the park there's a rally, there'll be music and stuff. I might have to sign out for a little while to recharge batteries. I didn't go over the entire chronology. June 28th, 15 days later, July 13th, 2012, it's Syngenta. August 20 was uh, DuPont Pioneer Hybrid. In Wailua, behind, uh, they have fields right behind the high school. September 17th was back at uh, Monsanto and Cunia. November 29th, Monsanto again, 12 30, 2012, Aina Fest, Kapiolani Park. January 16th, there was a march of about a thousand people from the University of Hawaii to the state capitol on opening day to demand labeling of GMOs. Interestingly, a week before that, the Honolulu City Colony held a special session to modify the Hawaii Statewide Association of Counties package, removed the labeling of GMO from that package and passed it without adequate public notice. The only people there were GMO lobbyists. Monsanto, Syngenta, Pioneer. Two of those council members are running for Congress, Congressional District 1. Those would be Stanley Chang and Ikaika Anderson that voted to remove GMO labeling from that package in a secret meeting. Don't vote for them. This is the park. We're at Haleiwa Beach Park. Hey, we gotta get the shot, Michael Brody. 
we always get a shout of each other. Okay, check that. This must be the play. This must be the play. You're live on the internet. We're live on the internet. <laughs> Sonny Garcia is up there. Sonny Garcia is up there. Hey, there's Olivia, there's Lucas, Luana, how's it? <laughs> hey, what's up, brother man? Hey. are doing to our land and to our health is nothing but scary. You know, on Kauai, we already seen the effects of these companies. We already got the cancers. The kids are already sick. The reefs are dying. Everything's dying from these companies. These companies are the largest chemical corporations in the world taking over our agriculture land. It's up to us, the people of Hawaii, the people of the world, to stand up for what is right, to stand up for what is pono. It's these companies' responsibilities to make money. But it's our responsibility to keep everybody healthy and think about the future. Yeah. 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 That's one big responsibility. But the only way to deal with these kind of problems, or any problems we have, is by uniting. The only way you're going to deal with any problems in this world is by uniting. Bringing people together, and pe peacefully protesting whatever that issue is. So for us, today, it's for the land, the water, our kids, the future of everything we love. What is more important than our kids and our land and our water? For me, it's nothing. So that's why we're all here. We're all parents, we're all friends, we're all brothers, we're all sisters, we fathers, we sons, we mothers. We all are here because we love. That's one thing all human beings have is a heart. Yeah? That's one natural feeling for love. We're so blessed with everything we have here, right here in front of us. You know, for us surfers, the North Shore, this is the epicenter of surfing. This place gives us everything. The whole world comes here every year to come take, take, take from this place. And I'm, you know, I'm proud to see everybody come here and give back and stand up for the North Shore. You know, 
know God put a little test on us today. It was <laughs> when hurricane was coming in this morning. <laughs> yeah. but just a little challenge, yeah. And in life, when you got challenges, it's how you persevere through them. So, all everybody for persevering today, and, you know, standing in the rain and, and actually taking a chance. And uh, you know, our kids, their kids, and their kids all going to make us someday. So mahalo everybody, everybody give each other a round of
this uh, staging area and some booths and uh, PA system. We're gonna have some music and stuff. Great march. You know what I might do is I might cut away for a little while and we'll find some people to interview when the music starts. I'll start up and you'll be here. Live. Great march. Despite uh, rain and flood warnings uh, blocking roads, um, despite the actual permit for the march being pulled, uh, despite thunder and lightning, we got a lot of people here. And that's the sign. Oh yeah, who's, who's doing that? That's great. They've got a mounted drone up right, right in this, taking some good shots. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, maybe it's not a dream. Maybe it is. So I'm cutting away. What do you guys think? I'm going to tweet out when I start up again with the, when we get some music, when we get some interviews. Can I say something? You can say something. I'll, I'll, let me bring this down. Yeah. Because, Wait. because the city had pulled the uh, the permit from us, we walked on Public Law 95341. Ah. That is Freedom of Religious Act, and um, there's a couple of technical things about that. It's how wide is our access from mountain to sea. Uh, it is written. It is written. It is written that um, the axis is the size of a length of a coffin. Oh. It's written inside of our, um, our some of the documents. The, that's the width of the of the uh, of the axis. That's okay. that's one of the in, the the official written interpretation yes. of yes, the yes, the law yes. that. So what we did today, I know the uh, the HPD uh, because of emergency access. Um, and they have pulled the permit, and we needed to keep one uh, lane open. However, I felt that they were on on duty. They needed to do their job. They needed to do. So that. we accessed two coffins, <laughs> the length of two coffins today. And it and it shouldn't even be limited to that. No, no. All no. land in Hawaii. Yeah, yeah it's like, written in our our land in the land access that we can access our, our, and the, our kupunas. All our land is uh, subject, to, subject to Kekuliana no Nakanaka, yeah, the right yeah. of So native. that access also access water, it access our, right. to our ocean to eat, and access, access to the mountain. So all right. that's why we have to do that two lane. <laughs> And today. we did it. I wasn't being funny or anything, but you know, being obstruction of what? Obstruction of justice? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like that okay. Could have. So Thank I just wanted to explain. Mahalo. Thank Public you. Public Law 95341. Thank you very much. You're Appreciate it. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to stop. I couldn't concentrate on talking. That's Luella. She's interpreting the law for us. And before we go away, Mike Bowden. This is the Haleva Triathlon. Huh? You take pictures of the whole line and then you run from the back to the front oh, God. <laughs> This, the only criticism I have about this march, it wasn't a march, a stately march from the good old days. It was a sprint. <laughs> I wish they'd like slow up a little bit for us yeah. old guys oh, yeah, who are trying to cover shit. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's why the run was so far. <laughs> We're still live. You want to say anything? Or are you still officially not here? Oh, no, no. That was another a, a different person. That was a different yeah. person. What's <laughs> <laughs> happening? Uh, yeah, GMOs, uh, not good organisms. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> He's actually a kind of more of a math guy than a than a word guy. I guess. <laughs>
I'm gonna cut away for a little while until the music starts. Anybody want to say anything before we cut away? Aloha aina. Aloha aina. I'm gonna cut away in a while. You you want to say anything to our? Ah, uh... uh, let's see. Well, don't don't take no for an answer. Just <laughs> <laughs> don't give up. We you don't can. need no, no stinking permits. <laughs> don't need no stinking permits. That's right. How many people you think we got? Monsanto, Boy, doesn't, that's a good Monsanto won't stop if it rains. That's right. They never stop. And we we don't, never stop. We don't need pesticide rain. That's right. So keep it up. Be careful. Don't give them any ideas now. <laughs> okay, from Haleiwa, we're cutting away. I'll be right back with the music starts and we have people talking and stuff like that. Okay, thanks very much. That's one hour and 51 minutes. Not too bad for an old guy.